Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to perform a vibration analysis on an elevated concrete slab and ram concept. In this video, we will be focusing on performing the vibration analysis and reviewing the results. When you are ready to perform the vibration analysis, navigate to the standard toolbar and then click on the Calc Vibration Analysis icon. In the footfall analysis dialog, we're going to click OK to continue the calculation. Just notice that the specified resonant response calculations do not calculate RMS velocity. After the vibration analysis is finished, you are ready to review your results. The majority of the vibration results will be available through the Layers menu bar item, and if you navigate down to Vibrations and Vibration Analysis, you'll find a variety of results. For this first exercise, we're going to start with the table's area and then look at the mode data table. In the vibration frequencies table, you will notice that RAM concept has calculated the frequency of the structure at each mode. As you may recall, we requested 25 modes in the calculation options dialog, which is sufficient for the structure since all of the mo modes within frequencies up to 12 to 15 hertz were included in this calculation. Next, we are going to review the vibration analysis contour plots. After a vibration analysis is performed in RAM concept, a vibration analysis contour plots will be available to display the maximum RMS velocities, the maximum RMS accelerations, and the maximum response factors. These plots represent the envelope at each node of all calculated cases, which include resonant response calculations and the impulsive response calculation for the critical excitation frequency. Notice that this table lists some of the common response factors limits mentioned in the BS6472 and the ISO 2631-2 for some different environments. To access your vibration contour plots, you're going to go up to your Layers menu bar item and then navigate to your Vibrations folder again. Here we're going to select the Vibration Analysis and then we're going to see several different plans available. We can select our Maximum RMS Velocity plan to review the contour plots. And we can also go to our Maximum Response Factor plan. Now, according to the max response factor plan, this structure would be acceptable for most uses except in areas requiring sensitive equipment. Lastly, as we conclude our vibration analysis process, we are also going to review the mode shape perspectives in RAM concept. In our layers menu, we're now going to again select vibrations, followed by vibration analysis, and then we can review different mode shape perspectives. We'll click Mode Shape 1 Perspective, and we can go ahead and see that mode shape for the vibration analysis. Now we can view some additional information on this plan as well. If I go up to my standard toolbar and click on my plot icon, I can see that the vibration tab is available, and I can select different options in here. I can view a valued plot, I can view additional content, I can change the plot type, the magnitudes, and I can also animate the mode shape. In the plot settings, I'm going to go ahead and say Enable Animation, and I'm going to select 10 frames. Once I select those options, I can click OK, and then up in my toolbar for animation, I can play the different animation types, and this can be done for each of the vibrations contour plots. This concludes our process for performing a vibration analysis on an elevated slab in RAM concept. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, 
consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.